Oh, wait, I'm gonna get a hog too. The hog spawns. Wait, Mother Witch wins me game? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a good day today. And today, I am. I'm trying out this weird deck that I made. Where there's the new card. It's the we all know the Mother Witch. And what does the Mother Witch do? It summons, I guess, changes units into hogs. And then what? What other unit uses a hog? Well, the Hog Rider. It it rides a hog. And then there's also the Royal Hogs, who are just four hogs. So I was thinking. What if I combined all three of these hogs and made one ultimate hog deck? With all the three cards that incorporate hog, I added in the knight because it's a really good, it's probably one of the best just troops in right now in the game, just on defense. And it, it, it's pretty, and also just look at that mustache. Come on, this card is amazing. Hunter as well, another mustache card. Maybe mustache cards are just good in Clash Royale. Maybe that's why I'm getting Clash Royale. Hmm. But mustache, Hunter, what was I talking about? Hunter is good. Hunter is really, really good. I'm surprised it didn't get a nerf in this recent change, balance change. Uh, it's probably one of the best cards in the game and it's it's gonna stay like that. And then add two spells, add the bomb tower because it's really good on defense. And boom, bang, Basel, I got a deck. So let's try out this deck on ladder and see how it goes. The triple hog deck. I don't think this has ever been done. This is the first time this deck is ever going to be played in Clash Royale. So we'll see, we'll see how it works. Let's go Hog Rider first play on the right side. See what he does. I got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of potential. He goes, ooh, we're playing a little bit of bait. Is that good? Probably, I have Hunter for Goblin Barrel. I have Log, I have Fireball. I got a lot of, in, I got a lot of options. So this might be okay. I'm gonna go Knight High for this Princess on the left side. And let's see what he does. Oh, it's not bait. It's not bait. It might be clone. Oh shoot, I, I'm gonna push her pressure the right side. What is going on? This is not good. This is not good. This is, I hate these decks, these Zook decks that just have so many different units. Oh gosh, no, God. Yeah, look at the hogs. Wait, this is what I'm talking about. This is why the Mother Witch could be an actual good card. Hogs kind of defend the Mother Witch. It's hard to get to the Mother Witch. A little bit. Of, I talked about this in the last Mother Witch video I made, and if you haven't seen that Mother Witch video, make sure you check it out. It's it's uh, it's a fun one. It was my it's my favorite Mother Witch deck as of now. Well, this one might be my new favorite. This one's kind of fun. I already got a lot of damage on the right side here. The Mother Witch sadly doesn't do that much damage, so that Rascal Boy is going to still have a lot of juice left. A lot, a lot of juice here. I can do a couple of things. How crazy? Is it going Royal Hogs into this lane and then logging? Because then I get the Skarmy and not only that, but I also get the Princess. How crazy is this? Am I a madman? Okay, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I am not doing that anymore. Let's just fireball this, get this out of the way. And then hopefully this giant skeleton dies and we are not in the best situation. Maybe I could have done the Royal Hogs. Maybe I could have done the play there. The Royal Hogs. Log, Prediction, Skarmy, maybe a little too ambitious, a little too ambitious, but so far, why is this deck actually kind of working? Why is this deck actually working? Maybe because the Mother Witch has a really good matchup right now with against this deck. As you can see, it can, it can change a lot of the units into the Hogs and gets a lot of value against the Skeletons, against the Rascal Girls, against the, the Minion Horde, against the Goblins from the Goblin Barrel. So this could be, this could be a very interesting deck. Goes for another very, very far barrel. So here, I'm just gonna probably defend a little bit. Let's go with the Knight, and I think this is where I go for a prediction. What are we thinking, Minion Horde or Skarmy? Let's play a little game. Well, it's gotta be one now, it's gotta be one, and we know which one it is, Skarmy. Oh, that's a strike, that's what I call a turkey. GG, well played, I don't know how he's gonna stop this. I'm going with the, the, the Hunter's gonna get a shot, Hog's gonna get a couple of shots, and that's most likely gonna be GG, well played. Wow, Triple Hog, is this the future? Did I just figure out the deck of the future? Am I a time traveler? Like, what's his name? Uh, the, 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 the Mr. Beast? It's confirmed, yes, he is a time traveler. It's, I'm, okay, I'm making this up. Don't, don't actually, don't, I don't think he's an actual time traveler. But if I did have to suspect if someone was a time traveler, I think Mr. Beast and Elon Musk, those are the two. Who do you guys think is a time traveler? If you had to guess, I think Mr. Beast and Elon Musk could be. All right, let's get into that next game. Let's get into that. It's weird because I'm not even that low on trophy. I'm at top 3,000 using Triple Hog. And not only that, I just got my season high. Let's go. Triple Hog's the future. Triple Hog is the future. You know what, old boomer? Boomer, yeah, you, Michael, watching this right now, I know you're a boomer. Get to the times. No more hog cycle. No more fireball bait royal hogs. It's all about triple hogs. And all you gotta do, royal hogs first play. Every time, every time, it never fails. 
Okay, it doesn't look like it's gonna do much right now. Oh, is it Expo? Oh, I hate Expo. I just hate Expo so very much. So very much. I do have hogs. I do have royal hogs. Oh, it is Expo. Why is nobody using the Mother Witch? I've made, this is like my second YouTube video of Mother Witch content and nobody else is using the Mother Witch. There, there's, so, oh, it's, 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 it's not. It's a Hoggy Q. It's a different deck. Okay, wait, does that, is that bomber bad? Oh, that bomb tower was really bad. I played it one tile too far to the left. He was able to get log, a lot of log value, and he took the lead. So now he also has, we know that he has probably a fireball. No, maybe he doesn't have fireball. Wait, I'm really tempted to go Knight Royal Hogs here. He just used his bomb tower. Oh, is this a bomb tower bait deck? They have to use the Royal Hogs on two of the cards. So he's, he's, he's putting it at tank up. So that's gonna be one Royal Hog on that side. This time, I'm not, I don't want to give him too much spell value, so I'm going to have the hog on the left side, or the right side, that does nothing. Royal hogs on the left, he already got back to another bomb tower, so that kind of sucks. And um, it doesn't look like those royal hogs did much, and it takes three shots to kill the archer, and the piggy got one hit. Not the best. Not the best at all. I do have bomb tower to deal with the royal hog, but I also have hunter, or his, his hog rider. He has hunter as well. Okay, we have very similar decks, but his is... Uh, how do we say meta? <laughs> and mine is just a triple hog with Mama Witch. I should get more trophies for winning a match with the Mama Witch. I should. Is, is that anybody else agree with that? Okay, I this is I I've been watching CRL. I know I don't have to actually defend this. This will die without getting a hit. I have big brain. I have very big brain. And this is where I'm gonna go double lane. I'm going double lane here. What should I fireball? It's just whatever kind of value I get, right? It's gotta be the value. I just gotta wait for some value. Okay, I'm, I might be okay with that. I really want to wait for, there it is, that bomb tower. He missed the bomb tower placement. Uh-oh, Houston, we got a problem. Houston, we got a problem. So let's go Mother Witch. The bomb tower is still alive though. That thing has so much HP, it's insane. So he is going to go in. I'm going to go for a night on a little bit of defense. I have not, another follow. What is going on? I'm not even streaming, boys. This happened last stream as well. Okay, prediction. Fire. Oh, he went high with the bomb tower. Well played. Well played, well played. But he also just used his bomb tower and his hunter. That means he has nothing for the hog rider. There's still a couple of units alive. Hog rider is going to get a couple of shots. Maybe one, maybe two. Uh, it looks, I actually don't even know. Two, maybe? I have, I have quick maths. I, I have no idea. Uh, a little earthquake early. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Uh, let's get ready. He's probably going to go for a hog rider here. And if he does, I just want to make sure I can defend it. Uh, let's let's win this bridge battle. He doesn't have the knight, so I could probably win this bridge battle pretty easily. And depending on where... I don't know. Just depending on, I guess, I guess what I'm feeling. No, the mother witch died? No. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What do I want to do? He used the hunter for the little piglet? Why the little piggy? Why, why did you use that? So he's going for the spell cycle. That's... That smell... Yeah, that's, that's desperation, all right. That's that's definitely a little bit of desperation. Let's go. Oh, the prediction log for the skeletons. I don't know if that's considered prediction, but still, I'll take it. Not only that, he over-defended. He over-defended. He used the bomb tower as well. I think this could be GG, boys. I think this could be GG. Well played. One hog hit. Oh, I didn't get that other hog hit. So right now, I'm not even that far ahead, actually. This is not looking great. This is not looking as good as I expected. Let's just put on that pressure. I think this is where I'm going to have to start just eating some fireballs too. Just try to get as much value as possible. Let's go Mother Witch up high. He's going to keep spell cycling like he does. And I'm just going to keep going in like I does. I like I does. Like I does. Uh, here, let's go. Let's split lane. I already have the hog on that side. There's a little bit of fireball value here. So let's take it. Oh, wait. I'm going to get a hog too. The hog spawns. Wait. Mother Witch wins me game? Question mark? Exclamation mark? Batman symbol? <gasps> oh my gosh. Mother Witch OP! Mother Witch OP! We did it! GG well played! Triple Hog beats Hog Rider Mega Meta Deck! This is the future. I'm telling you guys right now, this is the future. Mother Witch actually won me a game of Clash Royale. I've played a lot of games with the Mother Witch. The Mama Witch did not do much in any of them. This one, I could safely say. The Mother Witch actually won me the game. Wow! Okay, oh baby, uh, it's, I think I'm getting too, a little too excited. I think I had a couple of really good matchups. 
I think it had a, a, a lot of really good matchups. But I think this deck has a little bit of potential. I think it just has enough good cards in it being the knight, the moustache of the knight, the moustache of the hunter. The bomb tower is really good on defense. Big spell, small spell, the usual, and just two win conditions. I talk about that a lot. If you have if you have two win conditions in a deck, it usually does a pretty good job. So Royal Hogs, let's go on the right side. Let's see what he plays. Maybe another bomb tower? Fireball. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Totally fine. I get a couple of chip shots. He's up in Elixir, so he'll probably play the next card. He should play the next card. And if he doesn't, I'll probably just go for a Hog Rider. Let's go for a Hog Rider. So Fireball. He's playing this slow. Baby Dragon. So maybe Lava Hound? Okay, a tornado. So tornado's not in Lava Hound. So what are we thinking this is? Activates King Tower. That's a problem. So right now he has five, he has enough. He has answers for both the Hog Rider and the Royal Hogs. That's a big problem. Oh gosh, Any also has the Barbarian Hut. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Hmm. It is going to be Graveyard with Fireball? Splash Yard with Fireball? Are are people putting in... F oh, no. Heal Spirit. Okay, there's the Fireball. I'm going to Fireball this. I'm going to pop it. And then I'm going to go Royal Hogs on the right side. So that's going to be fine. And then... Yeah, maybe I get a little bit of damage. Battle Healer. Oh, do you know what deck this, this stupid deck is? It's the Elixir Golem. It's the Elixir. There he is. Hello, big guy. I haven't seen you in a little bit. I haven't seen you in a couple of seconds. Oh, I hate this deck so much. I hate this deck so, so very much. I need some elixir right now. Hunter, get me some elixir. Get me the juice. And then, oh, I did not. You get my tank in front in time. But still, I think it'll be fine. I have elixir. I have a little bit of elixir lead, I think. And right now, I don't think you can tornado that to King Tower because of the knight being there. The hog's gonna get one hit. Gonna get two hits. Gonna get three hits. One more hit for Papa. Come on, do one more hit for at least at least the M Mama Witch. Let's see if the Mama Witch can take out this baby dragon. Okay, I'm just letting it hit the tower. I did that on purpose, all, all on purpose. Let's go Royal Hogs on the left side. I wanna just put on as much pressure as possible. And here, he's probably gonna go all in and try to get a very, very, very big push. I'm thinking of potentially going, I got a couple of options right now. I think going a Hunter right away is not the worst idea. Uh, and then here, let's go maybe with a Knight in front. And once that barb hut does go down, I do want to use, I do want to use the hog rider on the left side. Just put on pressure, put on as much pressure as possible. I'm gonna go for another hog rider too. And as long as I can kill this e, uh, this electro dragon, it should be a pretty easy game. One more hit on the electro dragon, and that is going to be not too schnabby, except the fact that I have not won the game yet, and there is a big, big push coming in. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm in a good situation, but I'm not going to win. No. I had to defend there, and I did not feel comfortable enough defending two of those big guys. I think I probably could have. I should have cycled quicker to a bomb tower. GG. Well played. The Elixir Golem Cheese. It beats the best deck in the game. The most toxic deck beats the best deck. Elixir Golem beats the Triple Hog deck. <laughs> But anyways, yo, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys are enjoying the Mother Witch. I'm I'm really enjoying her. I think she's a unique card. I don't think she's broken. I don't think she's that bad, though. So definitely try her out in your deck. Let me know any decks that you liked if, with the Mother Witch. Also, try out this deck because this deck is... It, it's fun. This deck is a lot of fun. It, it, it's... I, you don't always have to use meta decks. That's what I want to... Par, part of the reason I want to make this video was a lot of people make videos and YouTube videos on meta decks, but you don't always have to make YouTube videos on meta decks. Sometimes off meta decks, they work. I find they're more fun to play just because it's something you've made. And not only that, but maybe, maybe it'll be the new best deck. Maybe you will find the new best deck. So yeah, you know, hope you guys have a good rest of your day and remember to check out one of these new YouTube videos. If you haven't checked out the, the last Mother Witch, my favorite Mother Witch deck right now, that video's over there. And if you still haven't seen the 7K or bald uh, bet that I did with the Cash Fam and that video, that video's above me right here. So I'll see you guys in one of those videos. Deuces.